Today I want to go over the split command. The split command provides a way for you to project your curves onto a surface so that you can then extrude those curves what we'll describe as normal to the surface, meaning that the flow of your curves will follow the typology of your surface. This becomes very important in milling operations. The two components that you'll need in order to produce this, you'll need a set of curves, a set of closed curves preferably, and you'll also need a surface. Um, when the tutorial is complete, these curves will align themselves to this surface and we'll be able to extrude it uh, in order to produce a block for milling. Okay, now let's start. Our first step will be to move the curves over our surface and position them where we want them to be. Now, the, what we want to do now, we want to use our project command. And we want to project just use a simple project command which will prompt us to select a surface to project onto and we'll select that surface and hit return. The curves as you can see now in this window they follow the topology of our surface which is what we want them to do and they are projected onto the surface meaning that they lie on top of our surface. Now, the next command we want to execute is split. Split. Our split command. Okay? And when you hit split, it will ask you to select our cutting objects. Uh, and we'll do this. And we're going to select our object to split, which is our surface. And it prompts us to, we cleared it out that first time we selected it, so we're going to select our cutting objects again. It's a little redundant, but uh, that's the way it is. Perhaps we should deselect that before we split them. Now we hit enter. Now, you notice that one surface has been split into six pieces. And our six pieces are one, two, th three, four, Five, and we have our bounding object which is split. Now we'll notice if we come over here to our perspective window and we turn our shaded mode onto ghosted that uh, we have our object split. Now in order to differentiate uh, our object I'm going to move the surface down a layer and change the object layer so that our surface moves down layers so that you can see our surface object and our split objects. Okay. Now what this allows us to do, we can now take our objects, our circles, select them, hold down our shift key, and we've selected all of our curves. Now we can go to our solids menu and come down to extrude surface and then we want to go over to straight. And we notice that now it extrudes those, curf those, those curves normal to our surface. And let's change the object layer for those. We'll move down to this blue layer. so that now, and I'll maximize this window, now you'll note that these curves are following the topology of our surface which we which we just created. Okay. And let's select these surfaces. Poly surface. Poly surface and we want to change that object layer to blue. Now you note that now our curves flow and follow the topology of our surface. Now from a previous tutorial we talked about how to turn this now. The next option is to turn our surface into a block. 
okay? And the way that we can do that is if we select our surface now, we can take that and we want to use curve, come all the way down to curve from object, and we want to duplicate our border which produces uh, this curve and in this case it captured the interior curves which we could turn off and we want to once again take those curves and we want to use our project command this time but we're going to do it with the modification we're going to project to C plane and let's hit enter we don't want to delete our object and you notice that now we have this curve right here and we can drag this curve down like so and then we select our curve here and then we'll use a loft command and our seams are matching up nicely here and we have our block okay and and let's just change this to change this surface right here oops let's keep my loft command again hit enter click OK Select this object, change the object layer to blue, and here we have a lofted surface with curves on our surface and extrusions which match our topology, which we can now mill uh, as a solid object. And that's how that process works.